So, um, my daughter called me yesterday, um, the one that I uh, talked about in a previous video, whom I saw um, left behind. She called me and she was telling me about a dream that she had. Um, I've been dreaming about, I've had about three dreams about this child. And um, the first dream was when Iran fired missiles at us. Um, I dreamed about this child and I dreamed about her in a, another dream where I saw um, I saw the dead lining up on one side and I was standing on the side with the living and we were waiting for my father to come so we can go to war. And um, my daughter was in the midst of the dead in a sandbox. Then I saw the dream where I was telling her to jump and she decided not to jump. So I've been warning this daughter, you know, to turn to Christ, turn to Christ, turn to Christ. The Lord is calling you, turn to Christ. And uh, so she called yesterday morning and she said, um, she, she was excited talking about a dream she had just had. And um, she said that August 22nd, the eclipse happened. And um, a lot of stuff ended up happening in a dream. And then, but she said at one point something happened and everybody's breath was taken from them. Everybody couldn't breathe. Then she saw Streets of Gold, and um, the people around, before she saw the Streets of Gold, people around her were deceased. Um, then she saw the Streets of Gold, and uh, she, um, she saw Jesus, and um, there was an army guarding him. An army of angels guarding him and she tried to walk up to him and um, the guard held her back um, so she was telling me in the dream that you know it couldn't have been Jesus it couldn't have been Jesus you know I asked him what was his story you know, what was his story anyway, you know? And, um, I told her, I said, you know what? We all need to make sure that we don't get to heaven and the Lord tell us he never knew us. You know? Um, I do believe the Lord is communicating with her. Um, just like he's communicating with everybody. And um, it's not in a way to condemn her, but a way to make her change her life. Um, this whole eclipse thing and uh, the stuff that's happening with... Um, North Korea and China jumped on the bandwagon. Well, they put in their paper that um, they're going to remain neutral until um, we attack first. They're going to remain, remain neutral if North Korea attack first. But if we try to attack them first, then they're coming for us. China is worried about the U.S. being over there. That's what they worry about. They don't want the U.S. to to be running 
uh, North Korea and South Korea. So they can't risk um, us, the military, being that close to them. I'm sure they already feel somewhat kind of way because we have Kong. So, yeah. Um, Y'all have this feeling in my heart. And it it's, it bothers me like it's a um, I'm scared. I'm not even gonna lie. And I know we're not supposed to be scared, but um, I'm scared for the people who don't know Jesus. I'm scared that a lot of people are gonna die without a second chance. I've been thinking about if, um, you know, praying for the United States, but I, I had this dream. I had this dream about an eclipse happening and um, an asteroid the side of Texas was going to hit the earth and I, we tried to pray, but it was too late. Y'all, this is the time to get right with the Lord. If you don't have your house in order, then it's time to get right. Um, this one team that you gotta make, you cannot, you cannot miss out on what the salvation that God is offering because I'm telling you what's about to come to this this world is going to be crucial and it burdens me, it burdens my soul and I can't I can't I don't know it's time that we pray pray without ceasing um this is a Sodom and Gomorrah type situation where you know, Abraham say, Lord, if there's one, just one, there's 10. Could you save 10? The survivors will be few. And the ones that the Lord select will be few. Make sure you have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Make sure you have a relationship with him. Time is short. Super short. Super short. God bless you guys. Pray. Pray and fast. Pray and fast for this country. Pray and fast for your loved ones. I don't know if you guys remember, but I, I posted a dream about seeing a loved one in hell. Um, I saw this loved one being tortured. And I never told you guys who it was. But it was my mother. And when I saw Jesus... He was coming from the cross where she was, and he had people behind him. And he came up to me, and I was crying, and I said, Lord, I can't watch this. I can't watch this. You taught me to be a better person and to forgive even people that were, that made me feel some type of way. And um, he said to me, your whole family belong over there. Now... I understand. There are people that I value more than my mother, my own children. And I could.
couldn't imagine watching my children burn. Tell your loved ones about Jesus. Tell them to accept Jesus into their hearts. God bless you guys and thank you for listening to me. Time is short.